Hello, let me download your piece. Oh yeah, I really like the warm look and friendly feel of your logo, just your general sense. Okay, so what I'm supposed to be looking at is portfolio stuff. And there should be some explanation as well. So I don't know what this is. Very uh, wonderful logo. Sharp. Um, I think I mentioned this before, but consider making this smaller and tighter for a more modern look. And any kind of letter, people skim them. You probably skim them. And people who aren't your loved ones aren't going to spend a lot of time on this, to be honest. So that big paragraph there, try to chop that in half. And then uh, when you're away from class, perhaps think about doing a signature at the bottom, too. All right. So ideally, you would have this all aligned perfectly. It just looks tighter that way. So consider doing that. Um, contact. And you want to be consistent. Um, this isn't perfectly aligned. and. Hobbies and skills is smaller than contact info. And then the information down here, you know, you want to use, if you're going to do this, use the real icons. And again, keep things away from the edge. You've also got these down here. They mean nothing on a paper resume unless they're on the web and they're buttons. So, um, you know, maybe do two at a time and then add these in a nice big block to show that you're on social media and you're good with software okay so that's your card I think that looks good so if you're showing collateral um, you don't need to show it twice you've already done it with your uh, letter what you want to do is show as much stuff as possible again beautiful as much stuff as possible on one page that is all right so the little feet. Uh, so that's your folder. All right. Oh yeah, I remember this. This is where I know you from. I thought this was creative. Um, and again, you want to put things all on one page. Color studies. You want to spell check, assignment. And did you draw those? So maybe you want to make an illustration section. Um, Cleaners. Okay, so you have a lot of interesting work. Um, this isn't exactly the best way to show it though, because you need to um, explain it. This looks wonderful though. This is a very inviting website. Great big pictures. You never want to use um, the Greek type in a portfolio because it makes it look unfinished. But um, great logo. Did you make it? If so, you want to list that somewhere. This um, this musical instrument guy that everybody has in their portfolio, I wouldn't say it's the most professional looking thing. It's a good thing to show when you're already in the, like maybe a second interview. That way you can talk about your attention to detail and how closely you cut that out without damaging the image. But as far as a portfolio piece, it does look like a school exercise and consider leaving it out. All right. Do you think this looks professional? The paper, as you can see the tape, and it's sort of ripped or something. See if you can find the original file so that you can show it um, next to this. Maybe you wanted to show this in real life to see, to show what a poster would look like. Well, that's cool and interesting, but at the same time, you want to show the digital file clean and un, untouched. And again, I gave you a whole lesson about notes about those. Mentos. Um, perhaps brighten those photos a bit and show them all on the same page. Phonotech. All right. So that's um, a creative way of showing that phone i've never seen anybody incorporate an illustration into it good idea 
This I can't read at all at 100. It's 38. Let me see what it looks like at 100. Still have problems reading the type a little bit. Um, I don't think it looks uh, so great, center justified, and it's kind of hard to read in those big chunks. Consider uh, breaking the big chunks into little pieces and then also giving each section of maybe a bold header so the viewer can quickly go to it. Like they're not going to sit down and read this whole thing. They might just want to read about um, how to make phone calls. All right, again, you want to you want to show everything as one unit on one page. You'll show the the box, the pulled out layout, etc. You want to be consistent too with your width, like this. Um, line art that looks like about maybe one point and then you come down here the parachute looks like it's two or three points so just be consistent did you do these illustrations um if so amazing pretty good photographs i think you could probably brighten them up a little bit go in and adjust the brightness contrast great stuff all right, and suddenly this gets very big. Perhaps um, make the resolution of that 72 so it doesn't jump off the page so much. Okay, good observation. But again, um, think about how you're going to show this as a whole package. Like each thing you did, put it on the same page. For example, let me see somebody else's. Um, let me see Courtney's Courtney didn't quite do that either but she's got some nice templates so this I suggested she puts that off to the right and on the left do a close-up of what that illustration is and where it says sequence say illustration for greeting card so that's what you should see and then this Duracell piece probably just need to show one the sketches the flat design, the explanation. So that's what I encourage you to do as well. This is a great example. Um, maybe put the logo in there with an the explanation. Does that make sense to you? Let me know. Bye-bye.